This will be a speed test between the OnePlus 8 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Now they both have the Snapdragon 865. They're both on Android 10. OnePlus 8 Pro, this one is the 8 gig of RAM model and it has the latest version of Oxygen OS. Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, this one has 12 gigs of RAM and it's on its latest version of One UI interface. So before I get started, I wanna say that I think this is going to be one good matchup. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I can't wait to get into it. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn on both phones at the same time, see which one has a faster boot up and let's go. OnePlus 8 Pro versus Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus speed test. Which one will boot up faster? Let's find out. Ooh. Looks like the S20 might be out in front. Oh, but here comes the OnePlus 8 Pro. Oh! Now that was a close one. That was close. Let me know in the comments below which one you think won the boot up. And we are in. All right, let's go ahead and swipe over. I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna go like that. And as you can see, no recent items on the OnePlus 8 Pro, no recently used apps on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. All caches, browsers have been cleared. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Very close. Maybe the OnePlus 8, slow down the video for me. Messages, draw. Camera. Gonna pick up both phones. Whoops. Do it like this. Very close. I'm gonna call that one a draw, but slow down the video for me on YouTube and let me know in the comments. Clock. Draw again. Huh. I told you this was gonna be a good matchup. Wow. Calculator. Another draw. Neck and neck. Play Store. Ooh, I think the OP8 was faster on that one. Let's see, what am I gonna choose? Let's choose this one. And we'll leave it there. Amazon on both. Ooh, I don't know, man. Very close. Let's click on this one. And then let's see, we'll click on one of these. Just this first one. Leave it there. And then we do have the eBay on both phones. Man, very close. Practically the same speed. No huge differences one way or the other, really, if you think about it. Okay. Going to the games now. Ooh, a little bit faster on the S20. Tap to begin. Faster on the S20 again on the second step. And then we do have Temple Run 2. Loading on, ooh, S20 was super fast on this one. Tap to play. And do have the Subway Surf. Oh, and again, the S20. Oh man, S20 was hella fast. Wow. And then we do have the Angry Birds too. Now S20 does have 12 gigs of RAM. This one has eight. That may or may not play a role here. Who knows? Logging in. And then the S20 is out front. And we'll give this to the S20 again. All right, so I think the S20 is Having a little bit of separation here from the OnePlus. We'll see this one. Asphalt 9 Legends. Ooh, a little bit faster on the S20. Actually, a lot faster on the S20. We'll tap play once. PUBG, let's go. Tencent Games. Let's see, which one will come out on top on this one? Ooh, I think this is gonna be a close one. What will happen right now? Oh, both are loading. I think the S20 is ahead. Oh, no, it's not. Well, I don't know. See, this one went right into the game. This one has extra stuff. So I'm gonna call this one a draw just cause slightly different on both phones. And then we do have the Twitter, S20, Instagram. S20 again, WhatsApp, Thai, Snapchat, very close. I think that was the S20. And finally, let's do a real quick browsing test. We do have Chrome on both phones. And then we'll do a search for 
I don't know, GSM Arena. It's my go-to. GSM Arena Go. Let's see which one's faster here. Ooh, looks like the S20, man. Yeah, I think the S20 might be a little bit faster overall than the OnePlus. And then we'll go to the desktop version of the site, go. And then again, the S20 out in front, as you can see, well, will the OnePlus, oh no, I think the OnePlus 8 caught up. This ad came up first. We'll pinch to zoom. Oh wow, <laughs> nice and fast on the S20 with its 120 Hertz and do the same thing here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Also with the 120, yeah, that is, yeah, that is butter smooth, man. 120 Hertz for the win. Once you go back to a phone with 60, if you go back to a phone with 60, it's gonna feel old and clunky. We're gonna click on that one. And again, I think the OnePlus 8, tiny bit ahead here on the browsing. Do that again, nice and fast. Let's take a look at the RAM management on both phones. Everything's in the background, so you can see. Now, on paper, advantage is the S20. This one has 12 gigs of RAM, OnePlus 8 Pro. This one is the 8 gig of RAM model. However, you can buy one with 12 gigs of RAM. So let's see how well the 8 gigs does here on the OnePlus. Run through these apps again, and then we'll just see what happens. Looking good so far on both phones. Twitter, good to go. Now to the games. PUBG, be interesting to see how they handle this part. Asphalt 9, and what's happening here? Okay, some sort of refresh. I don't think that was, that was not a full reload. And then we do have the Angry Birds too. Okay, a little bit faster to recover on the S20. Subway Surf, good to go on both. And you can resume in a couple seconds and you can play again. Very nice. Temple Run 2. And again, ready to resume on both as you can see. And you can play. Very nice. Mario Run. Mario time on the S20 Plus, however, the OnePlus 8 Pro has to reload this game. Again, on the 12 gig of RAM model, I don't think that's gonna happen. eBay, a little bit faster to recover on the S20. Amazon, and a little bit faster on the S20 again, as you can see. Play Store, same place, calculator. A little bit faster on the S20. Clock, still running the stopwatch. And we do have the camera. A little bit faster on the S20. Messages, faster again on the S20. And finally, the phone app. Faster on the S20, boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this matchup. On a side note, the OnePlus 8 Pro did have to reload a few apps. However, I think if you get the 12 gigs of RAM model of the OnePlus 8 Pro, that will not happen. Are you on Team OnePlus? rocking your brand spanking new OnePlus 8 Pro. How do you feel about OnePlus's pricing? They're now in flagship territory. Is it worth it? Well, I think it is. Overall, I do like this phone. I love the display. I love the 120 Hertz. The camera is pretty good on it now. You get that official IP68 rating. Overall, very nice phone. Nice and buttery smooth. The 12 gigs of RAM model, it's even crazier. Or are you a Samsung Knight rocking your Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, or are you a baller and have the S20 Ultra? Do you have the S20, the Note 10, Note 10 Plus from last year? Do you have the Galaxy Fold or a Galaxy Z Flip? Or are you waiting for the upcoming rumored Samsung Galaxy Note 20? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.